hi everyone welcome back to my channel today we are going to see how to make a collar neck so when you buy a ready-made kurta you have noticed that the collar sits on the shoulder the exact app shape so it just won't stand it just sits flat on your shoulder so that's what you are going to see right now actually it's a requested video from my facebook group let's see the clips what i'm going to show you right now so that that kind of collar neck only i'm going to show you about so this was the uh, very flat collar so in this video I show you how to attach this collar and I show you how to attach this putty piece so let's see the cutting of that collar neck and today I'm going to use this material this is a Ryan fabric I have to tell about this fabric it's super cool fabric it is so soft I can't even say it's more thousand times better than a cotton fabric and um, this is a plain cotton fabric it is orange color so I'm going to give the collar and the uh, band with this color and let's get started so I just folded the fabric once and folded it again you can see these are the raw edge and this is the folded edge of the material first take your full measurement of the shoulder so my full measurement of the shoulder is going to be 18 inches so I'm placing the tape exactly on the folded edge of the fabric and I'm going to mark 9 inches from the top so after marking this 9 inches I'm going to mark 4 inch from here that is 4 inch leaving that so this is going to be the shoulder measurement and the rest of that is going to be the neckline so I give a quarter inch for seaming and I give quarter inch over here for the shoulder seaming and I just cross this line towards the up. So this is the 4 inch, I can show you. So from year to year, it's going to be measuring 4 inch and then the rest of thing is going to be your neckline so normally we used to take a, a little bit a slight amount of fabric out of this curve same like that we are going to do this and this much i'm going to give for the seam elements so once i'm done with marking the, the shoulder i'm going to draw the armhole Elements, what you're going to give. So this is the both front and back. I'm cutting that together. So now we are going to work with our uh, front piece. So this is going to work front piece. And from here, I'm going to take 5 inches. This is going to be the standard measurement. If you're going to sew for yourself, you have to take 5 inch or you can go for 6 inch. So I'm taking 5 inch and I'm going to give a mark. And I'm going to draw a scoop neck over here. So you can ask me what's the difference between the scoop neck and the... Um, U neck the U neck comes straight and goes along like this the scoop neck is really straight neck it just comes and it just joins over here okay. so first we'll cut this out okay so after that from the top you're going to take 15 inches so from the top let me mark 15 inches down so i'm taking 15.5 so 
so this is absolutely depend upon you this is going to where we are going to add the putty piece so for me i took 15.5 15 is the standard measurement you can take 15.5 too so i'm getting, taking 15.5 so from the top just give another mark to 4 inch first you're going to mark for 15 inch so i took 15.5 so after marking that 15.5 from the mark I'm, I just marked a 4 inch so after marking this take your ruler and make the ruler a little bit slanting and you're going to make a slanting line like this like a Y you can see this so I just drawn a slanting line starting from here towards the top somewhat like a Y And from here, leaving a marginal amount, you're going to draw another line. So we are going to cut in this line so that you'll be having this fabric out of your dress. See? So I show you how to cut this. So I'm not putting a slit into the kurti but I'm just taking uh, this much amount of fabric out of this kurti. See? When I open the net client it should look like this. You have to take a marginal amount over here and it should have a V like shape over here. This is going to be uh, 5 inch as I told and this is going to be 4 inch and full neckline length is going to be 15.5 inch. We are going to attach the putty over here and then we are going to join the front piece and the back piece together and then we are going to measure the full length of the neckline. With that measurement we are going to cut the uh, collar for our kurti. So let's see how to make the putty for this. So this is going to be the wrong side of the fabric and I'm going to give a one inch putty for that I'm going to give a quarter, half an inch of seam allowance so quarter inch in, on either side so I'm just marking that just draw a line so then we are going to cut this out so I'm just taking a marginal amount more than what I marked because I just want to be in safer side. If I'm running out of fabric and making the design, I can use that. So take the first one part of the piece and make sure the pretty side of the fabric faces the pretty side of the uh, piece. So first it's going to be a cross sewing. So it's in like a V shape I told. Just sew it. So when you when you come to the point of that V, just lift your uh, foot up and turn the fabric a little bit, and you're going to continue sewing. So when you come to this point where the slit end, you're going to stop exactly at that point and you're going to back stitch. So same like that, you're going to do for the next side. So you're going to match the raw edge of the kurti to the raw edge of the um, piece. When you get into that point, just leave your needle in and lift your foot crest up and going to sew that. So this is 
the point where both the putty piece is joined together you can see this so this is the point where both is joined so from here I'm going to cut in an angle like this till the stretch line of the putty piece so I'm going to cut it in the fabric a small slit so the next step you're going to do is you're going to put a top stitch And then you're going to fold this once and you're going to fold it like this so you're going to tuck in all the raw edge and you're going to fold it in like this if you're sewing for the first time make sure you just first firm this fabric with the pin and then you can start sewing make sure you fold it and place it under the Now you are done with the one side of the putty. You can see how neat it is. It came very pretty. So same thing I am going to do to the next side of the putty. So once you're done sewing with both the putties like this, just overlap the left right hand side of the putty on top of the left hand side putty. So this is how it's going to come. So the V should be in the position like this and then we are going to close this putty like this. So here in this case if you want you can add the button on one side and you can add the, um, add the holes for the button on another side or else you can just you can make a stitch on top of that and you can add the fancy button at the top so I show you how to overlay the fabric so the finishing part is just overlay the fabric like this and you no more need this fabric that is the right left hand side fabric so I just trim out a little bit of fabric from this so overlay the border piece together and I'm just pinning it in place okay and then if you want you can make like an arrow or else you can just fold it as it is So fold it at the bottom like this and place it on top. So when you come to this point, just fold it once. And 
Lift your foot up, leave your needle down and turn the fabric. If you want you can add some buttons over here and you can open this flap also always sew this together and then I will add some buttons as it looked like a opened flap but it is not so at the bottom just make somewhat like a box and secure that because we have cut into the fabric so we have to secure that together needle in lift your foot up just so in a cross okay. so now I'm going to show you how to make the collar for this dress and this is the canvas that I folded into half and this is going to be the folded head of the canvas so now we are going to measure the half length of the collar neck so this is going to be the neck what we sewn before and with the help of your measuring tape you are going to measure the collar just click, make sure the tip of the type should be matching this end of the neckline so just measure it so measuring the neckline is very important so little by little you take the material in one hand and you place the tape on top of that like this so take the material in one hand and take the tape and place it like this so when I get the center notch of the neckline see I have given a center notch so when I get into that I'm getting the column to be 11.1 can you see that it's 11.1 so that 11.1 we are going to mark in this canvas so from the bottom you are going to take the 3.5 inches this 3.5 is going to be a standard measurement for your uh, collar so so to the opposite side you are going to take this 11.1 inch okay not at the bottom you are going to take at the opposite side you are going to take 11.1 So this is going to be the 11.1 line and took on the opposite side and this is going to be the 3.5 inches okay so to make this flat collar you're going to take the width of the collar should be a 3 fourth inch above this one you're going to have one line and above that line is going to be a 3 fourth inch so this much is going to be the width of the collar so now you can see this line over here so we are going to start work on with this so you place like this and you are going to mark the 3 fourth by little I'm going to mark see I already made a three to four collar neck like still I'm getting a mail that the collar is not coming exactly as you shown in the picture and as you did in that video so this is going to be a very detailed video for them so if you follow the exactly what I'm doing over here for 100% for sure your collar neck will come 
really beautiful and I like to see the pictures of the corn neck what you learned from this video so this is going to be a very very simple step of making the collar 100% sure whether you are new to this sewing still you are not getting the collar neck so this is going to be the solution for that so all the way down till I reach this end line this is going to be the end line of the collar so till I reach the flat line of the collar I just draw that 3 fourth of an inch when you get into this point so when you mark the 3 4 inch or 1 inch whatever you just make this curve on its own so you not need to worry how I'm going to make that curve so this curve will comes automatically when you mark the same is place the tape to the bottom line this is going to be the bottom line and this is going to be the top line so you should not take this top line measurement measure the bottom line placing the tape on the folded edge of the canvas and you're going to take that 11.1 inch so just turn the tape when you get into the curve so I'm getting this 11.1 exactly over this point so I repeat it again so don't take this measurement on this line you should not take the measurement towards this line you have to take the measurement on the lower line See, just place the tape below so my full uh, half a length of my neckline is 11.1 inch so I'm going to run the tapes little by little so when I get into the curve I just turn the tape very slowly and I will get this 11.1 and there I'm going to give a small marking to from year to year it's going to be the collar we no more need this one so now you go if you want you can just give a curve to the collar at this point that I'm going to cut this out So next step is I'm going to stick this canvas into my fabric and I'm going to iron that together. So once it's stuck to the fabric like this, you're going to leave a quarter inch on either side and you're going to cut this out. See? You're going to cut this fabric out. So make sure this canvas stuck really firm to the fabric and then we are going to cut this out like this. So if you just follow the instruction what I tell you right now to make this collar neck for sure it will come out really well. So take this piece and place it again and I'm going to cut the same again. So same like that, I'm going to take a quarter inch on either side and making the first cutting as a template, I'm going to follow that and I'm going to cut the same. So now our collar band is ready like this so the next step is you're going to fold this piece like somewhat like this and you're going to press this all the way down not folding to the upper edge of the collar but I'm folding towards the lower line of the collar and make sure you fold all the way down and you're going to press it together so when you press that together you will get a nice and crispy and like this so I finished pressing my uh, collar band like this 
so you can see I just pressed it all the way down so you can see this is the fabric hanging out so once it's pressed down take the next piece like this and then you're going to take this piece and place it on top of that somewhat like this so you're going to start sew from here so this is going to be the fabric which doesn't have canvas so this is going to be the wrong side of the fabric so the fabric which doesn't have a canvas it's going to be the wrong side and the fabric which has the canvas is going to be the right side pretty side of the fabric match the wrong side and the pretty side of the fabric together and you're going to sew over this point over here folding this piece and you're going to sew all the way up and you're going to finish the collar once my neckline is finished it looked like this so I added some fancy button to this and if you don't want the collar you want a plain neck like this with a V at the center you can just leave it like the knee you can just pipe the edge and you can fold it in like this and that how you make a normal neckline without the collar and as I told before if you want you can just open this flap and you can make the button on one side and the button hole on the another side of the flap so that when you want you can just open and you can wear it so you're going to start exactly on the margin of this canvas and you're going to sew all the way around so for sewing that you should not open this fabric make sure you close the fabric and place like that and you're going to start sew from the bottom so start with putting one or two back stitch and when you're getting to the curve make sure you make the exact curve same like the canvas I'm not sewing on top of the canvas I'm just sewing on the exact margin of the canvas Now I'm going to trim this excess away so if it's if you have more fabric you'll find a really hard time to turn the fabric out so I'm just going to cut all over the excess fabric hanging out sure you put some slits all around so that you will have a nice and easy curved edge over this point so same like that so when you have a curve just put a slit or you can make a notches also so now I'm going to turn it like this I'm going to give a nice press over this after turning so this is going to be the wrong side of the fabric so I'm going to match this unsalvaged edge to the wrong side of the fabric like this and holding this together and I'm going to start sew over this point so this is the canvas fabric it stays over here firmly I'm not going to touch that and I'm not going to do anything with that I'm going to match this unsalvaged edge both together and I'm going to sew that see I'm placing the kurti like this and I'm having the collar band in one hand and little by little I'm placing this collar band on top of my kurti neckline and I'm sewing that So 
I'm sewing to the wrong side of the curtain. So once it's sewn like this, you're going to flip this in and you're going to make sure you tuck all the raw edge in and you're going to sew this together. Like that, little by little, you're going to feed the fabric in. exact margin of the collar that's it this is going to be the end result of the collar neck I took it just fraying out okay and you can see you have that beautiful V and I added some buttons to make it really pretty I don't know how well my camera is capturing this pretty color and look but in real it's awesome it was really beautiful and you can see I just added the same orange color as my sleeve and to the end of the sleeve I just attached a piece of fabric and uh, that looked really great and also I just attached the same piece of orange color fabric under the kurti and believe me it came out really well and the color combination also is too good and if you want you can add orange or else you can go ahead with the uh, nice olive green also that also looks really pretty with this black and white combination and if you enjoyed this video I thoroughly enjoyed making this because I love this color combination I was waiting to make this video and also uh, if you like this video go ahead and click on the thumbs up button below and please do share this video with your friends let your friends also make one like this and also don't forget to subscribe to my channel so that you don't miss any of my future video and also you can join in my Facebook group so that uh, you will get a regular update of my channel.